You can so play. Hey Liam, what do we have here? Our Thomas and Friends surprise box! Let's open it up, see what's inside. Alright! It's a new Trackmaster set! Brand new, this is the Thomas and Friends Bridge Lift Thomas and Skiff. It looks like we have a push along Skiff. And a Thomas, it looks like Boat and Sea Thomas a bit. Yeah. It's got a basic figure eight system with extension possibilities and a lifting bridge. Let's open this up. Yay! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh wow. Oh. This bridge is actually pretty cool looking. Look at this. Okay, so this is really kind of cool. You can go all the way up. It kind of sits there for a second. And then you can have it all the way down. Bridge, lift, Thomas and Skiff comes with all you see here. Liam, what's the first thing you notice? The bridge is really cool. The bridge is really cool? Yeah! Josie, what's the first thing you notice? The bridge is cool too. That the bridge is cool too. Yes, this thing here looks kind of interesting. It can go around there and it's kind of attached on there with a screw. And we got stickers! Yay! Okay, Liam's gonna set this up and we'll go from there. Step one, the Brendam dock sticker. Look at that, they got seagulls and boats and Cranky the Crane. That goes on this big billboard. And then the Thomas and Friends sticker goes right here on the bridge. And here they are where they're supposed to be. We've got a little pool of fish and turtles and starfish, and that clicks on. Uh, oh, look, you have a rope right there too. I guess we'll put this billboard right there. And look at this, this is actually, that's a lot of detail for one little track piece. There's Liam putting the bridge on. That's a big bridge actually. I can pick Okay, Liam built a set in all its glory. It's beautiful, it looks very basic. Let's start Thomas and see what happens. Thomas pulls Skiff and he goes past Bram Dock, stops there. And then I go. He'll have to lift the bridge. Yeah. And then we have Thomas go, we lower the bridge down. Thomas comes around with Skiff. And he comes back around and we're stopped again. Oh, Liam opens up the bridge. We go. I'm going to keep it up. You're going to keep it up? Okay, the bridge is up. Okay, and that's why I was looking at this skiff before and I noticed that his sail was super long and now I know why. It's to clear the bridge. But this is a very basic set. You come around, you stop the engine, you open this up, the engine goes, you drop the bridge and the engine comes above the bridge. What happened? Oh, Skiff. Yeah. I think Skiff, yeah, that sail kind of knocked him over. And sometimes he does somersaults. Oh, Skiff fell off the end. <laughs> I wonder if this, do you think this can go both ways? Either way? Because he'll stop. Course. Yeah, he'll stop. Let's uh -huh. make sure that he can go, stop. And he stops, and he goes, and then we can drop the bridge again in time. Just in time. Thomas and Skip go over. Now you got the bridge lifted up and they'll sit there. And there it is. Skip gets knocked over. Stop, go, down. Okay, so this is a very basic set. It's got an extension piece there. Don't lift it up, don't lift it up. Skip has an extra long sail. Oh my goodness, I knew that was gonna happen. We now have two Trackmaster skips. This is the one that the set comes with. This is the one I believe Hugo came with. You can tell that the major difference is the big sail. They have the same size body, same face. And this new one actually has a tail flap as well. This is a much better skiff. And here's the Thomas that it comes with. It looks a lot like Boat and Sea Thomas, except there's more detail in the seagulls and there's some French fries on that side. I can see that, they're going for the fries. And on the other side, there's a lot more detail in this Thomas as well. This is a really basic set. Um, you know what, let's, yeah, let's keep that down. I think skiff and the sail is the only thing that keeps that bridge from going. Liam is having a lot of fun. Once we get rid of Skiff and that giant sail of his, I think that that's the only thing that's keeping this bridge from operating because Thomas can go right underneath it without us lifting the bridge. But I have an idea. What? Can we use this bridge to launch turbo boost engines off of? Because I think if we get enough speed, we can launch these things off. Awesome. We've traded this piece out with a turbo boost piece and we got turbo boost Thomas. We'll just raise this up just a little bit and hold it. Are you ready? Ready, go. Hits the turbo boost and he gets a little bit of speed, goes up. And he falls off. Gets a little bit of zoom. Oh yeah, you know what? He loses a little bit of turbo boost there. A little bit of track improvements. Let's see how it goes. Thomas, 
We'll come around, go past fandom docks. Go we'll climb the hill, get the turbo boost. Oh yeah. He landed it. He'll hit that turbo boost. Let's see if he can jump over. That was a little bit high. Here we go, third try. He's gonna hit the turbo boost. Did he go over or did he push it down? He pushed it down. You know, once he gets going. Oh, we missed that. Ready? Oh, no! Oh, man! We'll try it again here. Oh! That was like a cartwheel. Here's Turbo Diesel. Are we ready? Can he do the bridge jump? Oh, no! This is a terrible bridge! Thomas going around. Are you going to put some more engines on there? What do you have, Elephant Gordon? Yeah. Hurry, 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 little Thomas. Okay, we have Elephant Gordon and we have Thomas. And here it comes. Oh, you got all of his cars on there too. At first, Gordon didn't like Kenji. Oh, I didn't know that. We haven't really watched those yet. Let's get some more on here. Looks like Elephant Gordon passed up. Oh, no! We'll get Gordon back on track. Lion James, here's Thomas, Kenji. Let's see if we can get some more on here. Where's Panda Percy? Panda oh, Percy now. Kenji. Oh, man, this is a big mess. Looks like Elephant Gordon is right in the middle of this. Can we get Duchess on here too? Oh, Elephant Gordon has picked up, has caught up with Kenji. What's gonna happen here, folks? Oh no! Malfunction at the junction. Elephant Gordon is off. Gordon's down. Gordon is down, but Duchess is on. All sorts of crash. It looked like Lion James is now caught up with Kenji. And Thomas is about to catch up to Duchess. Oh no, Lion James, oh, Duchess. James, Duchess, and Thomas. Oh, and now Percy, and here comes Kenji in and says, hello, Percy. The winner is Kenji. Kenji will start it off because he won last time. Let's get some more engines on. How about Monkey Thomas? All right. Oh, you want Nia on there? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay, Nia now coming through. And here's Panda Percy. Kenji taking the high road. Looks like Panda Percy's already caught up to me. A Monkey Thomas and regular Thomas. Oh no, Panda Percy. Oh, Monkey Thomas pushes him back on track. Or does he? What's going on? Oh yes, he's back on track. And here comes Lion James and now Thomas, Monkey Thomas. Oh, we'll try and get them back on track. This is terrible. Oh my, Panda Percy. Oh no. Who do you have now, Duchess? Looks like Lion James is coming off this seagull, Thomas. All right. This is very quick. You got well, Elephant Gordon coming in. Look at this. Now Monkey Thomas pushing on Nia. Oh my goodness. Oh no. James, Duchess, and Kenji. And look at this. The Thomas is now. You have Elephant Gordon to put on yet. Are you going to put those back on? Okay. Monkey Thomas is definitely catching up to me at this point. Look at this. And he's almost got her. And here he goes. 75th anniversary Nia with Monkey Thomas. Looks like Monkey Thomas is off. And oh no. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Elephant, Gordon. Both Thomases are down. But Gordon is still on, so is Nia. It's just two more. Counting on Nia here, this is insane. Yeah, I know you can. Let's do a World's Strongest Engine. You want to do a World's Strongest Engine? Mm -hmm. Okay, and there we go. Are they going to meet on the bridge? Let's find out, folks. And here he comes, and oh no, oh my goodness, look at this, it's Nia, but it's Elephant Gordon, oh wow! First up, okay. Lexi. Let's make sure that the turn points are good. Lexi's going a bit slow, so who are we going to put on? Veronica wants to pick Elephant Gordon, and here he goes, and you've got Seagull Thomas. And Elephant Gordon already packed up the, oh my goodness! Oh no, Gordon, and Duchess is now coming on! Oh, looks like Thomas is having trouble, and here's Duchess. Oh, oh my, oh, look at this. Lexi is somehow still on here. Kenji now coming on here. Duchess back on, and Lexi, unbelievable. How about we put uh, Panda Percy and James on there as well. Looks like we have Monkey Thomas in the middle. God, he is the monkey in the middle of between Duchess and Lexi. Panda Percy now on. Looks like Monkey Thomas is caught up. Oh, no, oh, look at this. Oh, Duchess my goodness. Is Oh, but Panda Percy is about to catch up to Kenji. Let's get James on there right behind him. Five engines on here. This is crazy. These are the last five. Lexi, Kenji. Oh, look at this. 
Lexi goes on, Kenji. Oh my down. goodness, Kenji is stopped. And Funky Thomas is now caught up to James. Looks like James's tender is off a bit. As Funky Thomas is coming around. Oh no! Oh my goodness. James, Percy, and Lexi remain. As they go around here, guys, what's gonna happen? Are you guys going to start playing with the bridges? Uh oh, look at this. Panda Percy, oh no, Panda Percy. Lexi has been in it since the beginning. It looks like we're at World's Strongest Engine now, and it's Lion James pushing on Lexi. Will he push her all the way up the bridge? No, oh my goodness, Lexi, number one draw. Oh my goodness, you won, you won. Unbelievable, folks, yay. Oh, congratulating the winner. Overall, this is a pretty basic set, really, guys. We have it back to regular here. Once you take off Skiff with that super long sail of his, the engines have absolutely no problem just going around in a big figure eight. It really is that basic. The bridge has a nice heavy feel to it, but really, once you take Skiff out, there's no reason to even adjust it. The engines will come up and over and go underneath. I like this piece, uh, it doesn't really line up. We tried lining it up with the walking bridge set, that didn't really work. We might make a big light layout eventually of all the new motorized stuff. Really and honestly, my whole opinion of this set is that you can probably take it or leave it. This bridge doesn't really line up with anything else that we have, to be honest. 